Tori Sotsas was a giant designer. He had made monumental contributions to the story of modern design. He's mainly known for his iconic Valentine typewriter, which he designed for Olivetti, and for his distinctive architecture. He's even better known as the founder of the groundbreaking Memphis in the 80s, the group which was strikingly influential for its plastic laminated furniture and vivid colors, hailed by the press and brought Sotsas the ultimate global fame. But his career started long before founding Memphis. Sotsas had put the foundation to his radical style, provocative ideas, and the rebellion against post-war modernism back in the 50s and 60s. It was during this early phase of his career that the Italian architect began designing objects that resonated notions other than functionality when engaging with Italy's craft traditions. Now in its newly renovated gallery in Chelsea, Friedman Benda presents a new exhibition, Ettore Sotsas 1955 to 1969, that comes to unveil the power of this early chapter of his career. During these 15 formative and productive years, just before taking the role of the leader of the Italian radical design movement, Sotsas created a remarkable range of works exploring with the stimulating vocabulary when creating furniture, ceramics, industrial design, glass, photography, and art. The richness of his sources of inspiration is evident. He was moving from American abstract expressionism to pop art, to ancient Eastern cultures, to contemporary daily life, to his experiences traveling through India. It is the medium of ceramics that he chose as a laboratory for developing a new language that came to revolutionize design in mid-century Italy and eventually in the entire Western world. One of the more surprising and anticipated pieces in this show is this bookshelf made for the director of Olivetti. I love the foreign slatted rosewood cabinets, one in white and one in red, and the examples of enamels, mirrors, and lighting. Walking through the beautiful exhibition, which is set like a domestic apartment, was a true revelation. Sotsa's tie to postmodernism was strong early on, and this show emphasizes this notion. But with Sotsas, the more you look at his work, the more you appreciate it and understand its power and complexity. His objects unfold with unusual themes and orders, and you begin to see the details, the motions, the surfaces, the richness of his sources, the meanings, the brilliant choice of colors, and the creator's love for materiality and crafts. This is a great opportunity to view, experience, and buy works that have been extensively published and collected by museums worldwide. <laughs> 